They've sung my next guest songs on the show in the past. George, would you ever do Mass Singer? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's so mad. I know it is, but that maybe I could do it. Oh, it would be funny, wouldn't it? If you went on and sang one of your songs, but in a funny squeaky voice or a funny Desert Low voice or a never weirdy voice. Never, never. Never, never say never. Never say never. Never say never. Now look, just been nominated for two Brit Awards, which mm. is absolutely fantastic. But also this documentary that you did, I mean it, I guess it fulfilled an ambition walking across Britain. Here's a clip. <laughs> George Ezra joins me now. George, it's so lovely to see you. And that was such an amazing thing to do, wasn't it? It's incredible. And I think it seems more incredible to me now yeah, than it did at back. the time. Yeah. And, and these trips like that, the fact that we were able to film it, because it's the kind of thing in the past I would have done and taken a disposable camera and I'd have some, you know, some Cubie shoddy photos. Stars. Exactly. Yeah. But because I was able to do it with Adam and Christy, so they're my two friends, they're filmmakers, um, and I had this mad idea. For my first and second record, I tied them to a specific journey yeah. and journaled and got the song ideas there. And so the idea was I would do this walk and write the third album. And I said to them, are you up for it? Do you want to come along? Yeah. Um, and what a beautiful thing. It took us three months. Amazing. Yeah. An amazing experience to see bits of the country that you don't, you would normally, you would never ever no. see. And also to meet people, to meet some amazing musicians yeah. along the way as well. Yeah, so that was another really beautiful thing about it. So it wasn't just the hiking and we would end each day sat around the fire together and we would talk about whatever was going on. But then once a week, once every two weeks, we had in the diary a visit with, a musician, whether they were local to the area or yeah. they came somewhere remote to come and perform for us. And so the documentary is kind of littered with these performances from amazing, amazing artists. And that again for you, that, that sort of gives you, I don't know, a different aspect on it. Because I mean, I know that you saw the, the, the amazing fishermen in Cornwall mm -hmm. and you'd be hearing beautiful Scottish music and, and, and all of that. And, you, and that you've got to, you, you know what you're like as a musician, you take ideas from lots of different places and you do. experiences, don't you? Absolutely. And my experience for the last 10 years, and this is not a bad thing whatsoever, it's just an observation, has been music in one way. It's been pop yeah. music, it's been busy, it's been, you know, here, there and everywhere. Yeah. And the artists I've been mingling with are, are doing a similar thing to me. Right. But to come off and go on the trail and go to these smaller towns and community projects, and it's, it, it shares this thing, which is creativity and it's music. And more than anything that stood out to us, it's community. People yes. come together. We filmed this just after the lockdowns. And that was the thing that stood out, you know. Yeah, everyone everyone wants like, to get together yeah, again yeah. and listen to live music. The music yeah. almost is a byproduct of, of them getting yes. together. Yeah, but it's so important to yeah. bring people together. And of course, you love what you do. Mm. It's fantastic, but sometimes can get really overwhelming mm. because you, you kind of, you never get a minute to yourself. Mm. So I would imagine this was a, an opportunity to, for you to just exhale. You know, just go yeah. like yeah. that. I think it's been, I guess you just learn how you work best. Yeah. It, well, no matter what you do, it, I think it is difficult to strike a balance and get it right. Oh, absolutely. I think this was, and look, this was an extreme break from what I do. That's three months. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever get to do that again. No, probably not. No. You'll, you'll remember it as a, a little golden bubble. Yeah. yeah. But it did highlight the fact that it's like, okay, George, you've operated in one way, you've experienced this thing in one way, yeah. which is all consuming. And that's my doing, I mm. should say. Mm, of I've course. thrown myself into this thing. And then there's this, which is the other extreme, where yeah. you couldn't be further from it, and there must be somewhere in the middle. I think so. It's getting the balance right, isn't it? Because you don't want to get burned out. No. You really don't. You don't want to be in a situation where you're... Because then you're no good for anyone. Where you've just... It's just too much. Yeah. I mean, for goodness sake, I have to say congratulations. First of all, the, the third album, doing amazing. Yeah. Um, you're going to be touring soon, I know. But two Brit Awards. Nominations. How cool is that? <laughs> it's very cool. <laughs> and do you know what? It's, I think this will be the third time I've gone along to the Brits or something. And it's almost more exciting this time round than before. Oh, that's good. So you haven't yeah, got, yeah. you're not kind of going, oh, well, I might go Well, do you know what? There's, there's this thing where we all love, especially in music, we love something that's new. So when you're releasing your first record, I'm not saying it's this easy, but <laughs> when you're releasing your first record, there is an element of your new, so people are excited course, about it. Of course, of course. This is my third record third time round and so to still be considered for these things Yay. is very flattering. No, it's cool. fantastic. There's a lot of hoo-ha over the fact that the the, um, the best artist is all mm. chaps, it's all boys. Yeah. Um, but 
that is what it is. I mean, we, we do have lots of amazing women as well. Mm -hmm. And that's not... And, and, you know, and a lot of women who are in the other categories mm. too. But if you're going to do best artist, it has to be the best artist, doesn't yeah. it? It doesn't really matter whether you're he, she, they, whatever. Well, exactly. It doesn't matter. I think you've hit the nail on the head. I, I hadn't actually looked through any of the nominations until I got to the studio today. Right. Because um, everyone was saying, oh, this has been kind of, people have been talking about this, the artist thing. And when you look at all of the nominations throughout the night, it's amazing. It's eclectic. It's, it's people are being, you know, represented and acknowledged and... I don't know. I, I, I don't. Obviously, I don't have the answer, but I do think, on a whole, they've done an amazing job of. And we're in a good place. Oh, I think as so. far as music goes, what I love about awards like this, and obviously the Golden Globes were on, and uh, and I saw Colin Farrell winning for the Banshees, and I went away and I went away and watched that film right away. Mm. So I thought that's that's great, and it kind of passed me by. And sometimes with with something like the Brits, you go. Oh, I've, that sounds quick. I'll listen to that. And you, you just, you know, so the people, obviously loads of people listen to you, but it's a way of getting to people that may not. Well, and which especially is this brilliant. year, it's going to be on a Saturday night. I can't remember what night of the week it used to be, but it was a bit it was like midweek, Wednesday right. night. Yeah, away, that's whereas no good. It, it'll be a proper party this year. So it's Saturday night, so I could actually maybe go for the first time. Be my plus one. Oh, come along. George, <laughs> George, don't tempt me because I've never been and I'd love to go. Oh, you should it's go. It's always on a school night. You should go. Always, well, listen, I hope that you take home two of those yeah. slightly phallic looking um, awards, <laughs> but we won't go there. Um, but it's so lovely to see you and you can watch the documentary end to end well worth a watch it's absolutely brilliant i love all the people that you run into it's brilliant yeah. so on amazon prime video